you very much, last but not least, I hope. Um, I'm here from the Coalition for Children and Family in Israel. We actually represent the Jewish Israeli families in, in the country, uh, so we're not going into any territorial discussions here. Um, everybody here is a child, was a child, have a child and know a child, so I think we've all got some common ground. The right to life in Israel has been denied in serious, serious ways right now. Uh, as we speak today, three children, all four children, have now just been removed from fit parents and we'll never see them again. 10,000 children have been taken, Jewish children, every year by social workers into private institutions with no return. The suicide rate since I came to you four years ago and asked you for your intervention is now running at 2,000. 50% of the men in Israel are committing suicide with no right to life because they have no right to leave the country, they have no right to earn a living, over 100% of their salary is garnished and they have no right to see their children maybe for more than one hour a week in a contact center. A contact center is a building with an armed guard and a camera with no toys where you can see a child for maybe an hour, twice a week, and that's all you get. That's 12 times higher than any other country in the world. So we have a problem. I want to just give a little honor to the human rights defender who committed suicide last year after his attempts with amnesty and every remedies that he tried to do in Israel didn't work. So I, I want to give him honor. Um, the people of Israel have asked me to come to speak for them because they can't speak for themselves. Uh, all state news is censored. I have the stories that are gagged. Nothing is getting out. Um, children who have been removed from school without seeing their parents, they haven't done anything wrong. They kicked a chair, they had a tantrum and they're taken away. Those stories have been gagged, we have all the stories, and we have all the evidence, and yet we can't get it out. And so the people are asking me to get it out for them. The only risk that we take right now is the human rights defender currently, who is expressing his views for the children of Israel and the families of Israel who are dying and suffering in the country, is currently under arrest and has been gagged, and the last presentation we made last week to the UN for his protection has resulted in a serious 300 page document which says he's going to prison for a year for speaking out. We're trying to save the lives of the people that are living in the country. We know that the suicides are 90% preventable. The statistics we have are hard to get. <laughs> it's very, very difficult to get them. But we have a team of welfare experts. We have a team of experts from all over the world who are ready and waiting to do the necessary reforms to actually prevent the deaths. We're here to say that we'd like you to urge the country itself to please provide independent ombudsmen. We have nowhere to go to get independent um, information. All the ombudsmen are government run. There is nowhere to give this information to. We have no recourse or remedy. So we ask if the committee can urge for us or other organizations to have an independence so that we can actually put these uh, this information across. Thank you very much.